What's up guys? I'm in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, and the amount of support I've gotten has been has just been crazy. And what a lot of people are doing is asking me questions. So I want to make this video to answer some of those questions. I've probably gotten hundred different questions, and not different questions, a hundred questions, but a lot of them are either the same question or very similar. So I made this video to kind of answer those questions uh, about my first week in Cabo San Lucas. The first question I always get asked is, what am I doing to work out? They assume that I'm you know, working out 10 hours a day or running, but that's not the case. I am doing an insane workout, trust me. Uh, it starts at nine o'clock. I actually get up at 7.30 every morning and head down to the gym at about 8.30 and warm up for about, uh, you know, 30, 40 minutes, depending on what time I get there. But at nine o'clock, I hop on the elliptical machine. And this isn't some super nice new elliptical. This is an elliptical from the 1990s, maybe, probably the 80s. And so it's tough. It's not as smooth. It's not as comfortable. But you know, you gotta just gotta fight through it. And I do a large, a high setting. So it's hard. And I do that for 20 minutes. And then I meet my trainer, Eduardo, who uh, we do interval training with weights. So it's crazy. Instead of doing a lot of weight, like a lot of weight, I do a lot of reps. So instead of doing, let's say, curls 40 pounds each, each hand about 10 times for three reps, I do 10 pounds, 30 reps, four sets. So pretty crazy. Um, and we do that for 20 minutes and by the end of that I am just soaked in sweat and then I get on the treadmill for another 30 minutes and I you know at a brisk walk or a little jog whatever I can do at that current time for 30 minutes to try to warm up because what's next is the big kicker we have a little room where like you would hold classes at a regular gym and we go in that room and we dominate for 55 minutes. My trainer was certified in CrossFit. His name's Eduardo. Here's his picture. He is in insane shape. So Eduardo, go, Eduardo and I and a few other people do this 55 to an hour long CrossFit workout. It's a lot of, you know, uh, shadow boxing, crunches, push-ups. We bring weights in there and do, you know, sets of, you know, 20, 30, 40, and depending on what the exercise is, but a lot of stuff that you wouldn't do on in the actual like weight room. So we're talking various exercises like throwing punches with weights in your hands or doing push-ups with weights in your hands or doing squats with weights in your hands. So just a lot of stuff. Um, and it goes on for 55 minutes, no breaks whatsoever. If I get tired, I kind of just walk to the back of the room and walk back and that's what I can do because that's the only break I'm gonna get. And it's 55 minutes long, like I said. Total workout time, roughly about two hours. We do have a 10 minute stretching period um, after that workout. And it's intense. I would challenge any of you who say they're gonna come down here to come to the gym with me and go through that because boy, it's a workout. It's, it's insane. I, couldn't, I would never think that that type of stuff would be so hard to do and it's really hard but I'm doing it and we're done with week one which is the hardest week right so the second question I get asked a lot is what do I do for fun well to be honest with you the first five days of working out have been really hard and so all I've been doing is relaxing because I am really sore I can tell you right now I'm not as sore as I was on Tuesday Wednesday Thursday but today Friday I'm still a little bit sore but you know I can't really just go out and do stuff because I, I'm, I'm tired. So I don't really have a lot of time to get bored. That's the one thing I wanted to let you guys know. You know, after, I, after the gym's over, it's 11 o'clock, come home, make a meal, take a shower, take a nap. You know, that's two o'clock right there. And then by that time, we're getting to sports on TV or talking with the locals or the people in my apartment complex because they have a ton of stories, which are really cool. And I, you know, I want to hear them all. So. Um, and then we usually do at night is go to a bar 
Now, everyone has been saying, oh, you got to cut out drinking, man. I'm not drinking. I'm here to lose weight. I'm not drinking. You know what I order? Coca Light. That's a Diet Coke. That's all I drink. No alcohol. Scout's honor. But um, so we sit there at the bar and we talk with the bartender. His name's Joel and his little brother, Taco Boy, Luis. And we just talk about life, about girls. And we just watch the girls pass by and it's, it's pretty unbelievable. The, the women in Cabo are just simply beautiful. There's nothing really else you can say. And we watch sports. Uh, tomorrow night we're watching the Canelo Mike, Tr not Mike Trout, Canelo Trout fight. And um, that'll be, that's a big deal here because Canelo is a huge, is like the biggest star in Mexican boxing right now. And so we're gonna you know, go see the fight, which is gonna be pretty cool. But we go to that bar not every night, but almost every night. And we just enjoy our time. It's Cabo San Lucas. The one thing uh, I can't really portray is when you're here, you're just relaxed. And the mood is just so calm that you're always in a good mood. And there's always tourists at the, at the bar that are they're only there for one day or one night or maybe a weekend. And I meet them and I say, hey, I live here. I'm here shooting you know, my, uh, the story of myself and, and my story my journey and where are you guys from when we talk. But I just found a hookah bar tonight, went there tonight, it was pretty awesome. Run actually by Americans that live, uh, that are from, by, from Palm Springs, which is pretty cool. The next biggest question is, do I miss home? Well, it's only week one, so I'm gonna say no. But I do miss all of you guys, I miss my family. I do miss very specific things a lot though. The first thing is my dog, Roxy, she and I were you know, home together a lot over the last few months, and she was been a, she's been a great companion, and I miss her a lot, there's no question about that. There are little dogs around town, which is pretty funny, I like to see them, I like to interact with them. The laundry lady had, uh, her dog had puppies, so that's pretty cool, and there are these three little, um, I almost want to call them poodles that live by the gym, and they're pretty funny too. But um, yeah, definitely miss my dog. The second thing is my bed. As you can see, this is the old mattress for my bed behind me. Um, my bed in San Diego is just unbelievably comfortable. And here we are, and I'm sleeping on, was sleeping on this, you know, box of springs, pretty much. So we went to Costco, bought a new mattress, about 200 US dollars. Not that big of a deal. But um, the bed that I have now is much nicer. Still not as be good as the one in San Diego for sure, but the one behind me, it's going right back on the uh, on the mat uh, on the bed when I leave, and that bed that mattress is going to another person who lives here. Other people want to know where I live. Uh, I live in an apartment complex. It's called Apartamentito C C C E E C E E, and we live, you know, pretty much right in the cut right in the, the main part of Cabo San Lucas, which is pretty awesome. Everything is, is walking distance from, um, from where I'm at, and that's what I do, walk, 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 which is really good because I'm trying to lose weight, so you know it's not even a workout, but I'm s still getting a workout. Um, another question I do at, get asked a lot is, how is my Spanish? My Spanish is terrible, but I'm learning a little bit at a time. Um, you know, mi corazón, that's what I tell people, Arsenal, like when I tell them I love Arsenal and the Cowboys and the Lakers, um, that's my heart. And I have, a, I have good enough Spanish where I can kind of understand them, but a lot of, a lot of the, the Mexicans down here speak Spanish. A lot of the locals speak Spanish, and they're just incredibly nice people. Uh, another question I constantly get asked is, what am I doing to stay from getting bored? Well, I do a lot of stuff. But um, I'll let you know in a different video because that's, that's a, gonna be a bigger, a bigger question to answer. But how am I doing? I'm doing great. Um, I love it here, there's no question. You're gonna get a new video tomorrow about you know, a bigger reason why I love it. But um, yeah, so keep your questions coming in. Uh, you can email me at kyle.kinslow at gmail.com. And that's where most people send their questions or you can hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, you know, the normal things. Last thing, people ask me, what do I eat before and after I work out? And that's very important. For breakfast, I usually eat a bowl of oatmeal with some protein powder. And after my workout, I definitely eat um, 
almost every day now actually is two eggs and a veggie patty, which is really good actually. Um, so yeah, so guys, that's my time for now. Keep your questions coming. I'd love to answer as many as you have uh, with more videos coming soon. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow is the weigh-in. I'm really excited and uh, can't wait to talk to you all later. Remember, keep those questions coming. I'd love them. All right, later.